starboard. Hot starboard, aye. He's not done out there yet. I love you, Sergeant. Aye, sir. So, am I the only one freaked out by the fact we're inside the planet? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 12th mission of my Halo Wars Legendary Walk the Guide. Today, we'll be doing the mission Repairs. Now this mission is fairly simple and we're going to do the exact same strategy as we did in the previous mission where we, we're going to have multiple strategies to go about doing this mission. One's going to be a very fast way to do it and it'll be a guaranteed gold medal and we're going to do the strategy in this video which is a normal like fairly slow paced um, kind of taking our time run uh, where we just focus on making sure that we get the skull, the black box. Um, the achievement in this one is not going to be possible because you have to finish it in four minutes or less. Uh, but overall, uh, this mission is just about getting the skull in the black box. Unfortunately, when I watched back, I actually didn't go grab the skull. So you're going to see that at the very end of the video. But the principle is the same. You're going to want to um, destroy the 12 spirit dropships. And at the very front of the ship, the skull will spawn. And then you just go grab it. And then, cool, you have it. Uh, the black box we do get though, um, but overall this mission is a very simple, um, this mission is fairly easy. You can sit back and relax. Um, if you want to know the secret to this mission, the secret to this mission is how fast do you want to repair the power core. If you want to repair it quickly, you're going to be dealing with quite a few covenant and you're going to want to make sure that you are uh, able to defend yourself against that. Um, a good portion of the time you will be able to do that um, but for this mission you can pace yourself you can say like you know what I'm repairing the I want to repair the power core in a nice uh, slow pace where I can able to handle the Covenant as they start to land on the hull and even then you could also take your time and uh, wait for the power core to keep repairing uh, over time and then just shoot the spirit dropships out of the sky that way too because if you destroy the spirit dropship the um, dropship will not drop the forces that it has on the ship which is pretty obvious but still it's a pretty cool little thing that you don't have to deal with if you if you focus the spirit dropships now the amount of hawks you're going to want for this mission is somewhere between 10 and 13 you're not going to want any more than that because uh, if you do, you will be taking a bite out of your repair efforts. There is a nice little like pacing that I go on in this mission. Is whatever your hawk count is, make it half for Cyclops. So if you have 12 hawks, then you're going to want maybe 6 Cyclops to repair the power core. Um, that's a good way to look at it. Um, as you saw at the very beginning, what we do with our initial forces, other than the hawks themselves is we send the Spartans to one side of the ship with one of the Wolverines, and then we send Forge and the Marines uh, with another uh, Wolverine down to the uh, bottom side of the ship. That way, in any case that the Banshees or Vampires or whatever starts to land on the ship, both sides are covered, and you'll be able to handle the attack. Meanwhile, your Hawks are just kind of chilling. If you're going a slow pace like I, this is right now, um, your Hawks are kind of just relaxing and and just destroying ships like we're seeing right here now there is something for those of you who are on pc i'm pretty sure that the definitive edition has hotkeys in that version so if you want to you can actually split your hawks up into multiple groups you can have one that is just about destroying the spirits while one defends against any forces that land on it this is f more for you uh, if you're trying to advance your micro ability but if you really want to make sure that you get this done in a very quick uh, fashion and you want to get the skull, uh, hotkey your, um, hot your hawks uh, in multiple groups. It doesn't even have to be just two. You can do like three or four and just split them down. Uh, uh, easy division with that. Um, and then just start to destroy the spirit dropships in, uh, in sync. And then you'll be able to just beat this mission very quickly. 
But overall, this mission is fairly simple, even on Xbox, if you're just playing it like I am. Um, in this one, I wish that I... Um, I wish I was a little bit more attentive on destroying the spirits instead of getting feeling like I was getting overwhelmed by the Covenant forces landing on the ship. Um, but overall, when you want, like when you see it, it it's very simple. You're just going to be building turrets once you have your army as you see it. And then kind of just make sure that you're keeping an eye on um, if your area is getting overwhelmed. Like You don't want the Cyclops to be getting overwhelmed. Like if you... Uh, if you see your Wolverines getting destroyed, your Spartans going down, Forge going down, that's going to take a lot of uh, time to get back into being able to defend. So if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, take some Cyclops off the power core because then you'll be able to actually handle each wave of attacks. Because if you repair it really, really fast, those waves are starting to compact upon each other and it's going to make it more difficult for you to finish this mission and get that gold medal because remember in this mission your part time the part time for your score whatever the time bonus is that's going to be five times no matter what because you're going to be able to finish this in a very quick time uh but the part like your combat score that's what you need to focus on if you lose all your hawks or all your um your forces at the very beginning then you're not going to get a very good combat score which is going to affect you getting a gold medal um Anyways, I just wanted to say that this mission is um, very much up to you. It, it doesn't matter how fast you want to complete this mission. Uh, it doesn't matter how slow you want to complete this mission. This mission is all dependent on your pacing. And, that's, and this is the only mission that actually does that for you. So um, if you want to take it slow, take it slow. If you want to go fast, go fast. And... That's why I showed you both of these uh, strategies. The only difference between this strategy and the quick run strategy is the fact that I trained a bunch more Hawks than I did Cyclops. That's really the only difference. Um, but overall, as you see here, uh, the only reason why I didn't grab the skull, once you destroy 12 spirit dropships, the skull will spawn in. The only reason why I didn't grab the skull is I um, got overwhelmed with the um, Covenant forces that were landing on the ship. So I was just like, okay, I guess I can go spare that hawk to go grab that black box. But I wish I did the exact same thing and sent a hawk to go grab the skull. But overall, as you saw where it lands on the mini-map, if you grab the skull, like, it, it's going to be there. I promise you. Anyways, this mission is just a rinse and repeat of the entire time. It's just make sure that you're... Uh, another thing that I didn't mention was using your heal and repair function. Um, that ability is really, really important in this mission because it actually does help out the power core on top of making sure your Cyclops are fully healed as well. So it's a very uh, cool ability to use in this mission because it helps not only your Cyclops, but it helps the mission objective as well. But yeah, this mission is practically wrapped up. We're just kind of waiting for the Cyclops to uh, repair the rest and then we're pretty much good. If you keep also... Um, one of the sh like turrets alive on the ship, you get bonus points, which helps you get that gold medal. But we're doing this so fast that the um, that the turrets are going to be fine. Anyways, once Cutter says the power core is uh, repaired, mission complete, and we're going to go check out the debrief. And we got this mission done, sub eight, and we got that gold medal. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next time for Beachhead, the next mission. Thank you guys for watching.